really bad game. Okay, quick answer. Um, we did the commentary about um King Troll and things that we said and all that. And originally, we didn't put the sound bites from the video because we just wanted to put it out there. But then it kind of goes against our our theme of uh showing you what we were referring to because originally if as you hear when the video goes on we were directing you to go watch the video but then we started to think what if they take down the video then you have no no um reference video so we have included it so right now you're gonna hear the whole thing normally we would play it stop play it stop play it stop we're not gonna do that so you're gonna listen to what we were referring to it's about 10 minutes and then you're gonna hear our commentary on what you're about to hear Okay, let's move on with the video. Um, there's gonna be three videos that I already did commentary on that should be releasing. It should be Rebel Steph in the 911 call, um, King Troll with Exile One, and uh, what the fuck, Terry. All right, so those three videos I already did commentary on, and those should be released. I'm trying to show y'all something, but y'all don't want to listen. When you do certain things, it's consequences to it. See that comment you said right there? There are consequences for one's actions it's nothing really personal but that's what happens that's where the consequences come in when you say when something is done there are consequences the stitch that comes out of that channel may upset other people we know that smell very well because we are it Pinto, just know that your way of being we are attracted to so when you behave a certain way you are inviting us we already know you are a troll channel and um you want to troll the trolls and we know you don't give a fuck. We, we know that. We acknowledge that. Trolls never give a fuck. That's why they do what they do. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> but we don't give a fuck either. <laughs> so guess what? We're on the same page. See, on that we agree on. We are two motherfuckers that don't give a fuck. And, you know, we're the best man win. This is Hunger Games. This is Hunger Games. <laughs> okay, now, we're going to replay that last portion when he started to throw in the little pictures of, you know, we call it sarcasm. So... We want to show King Troll our version of um, um, photo clips and things that we would normally put out there um, just to show, you know, he's clever. We want to show that we're clever too. So we're going to show we the people, Tyrant Wars <laughs> version of picture clips. <laughs> okay? So just, hey, hey, we have to keep it on the same page. We got to keep it right there, okay? So we're going to rewind it and we're going to substitute the pictures with... Subtle pictures. Okay? Ready? Here we go. For one's actions. It's nothing really personal, but that's what happens. That's where the consequences come in when you say when something is done, there are consequences. The stitch that comes out of that channel may upset other people. We know that smell very well because we are it. Pinto, just know that your way of being, we are attracted to. So when you behave a certain way, you are inviting us. We already know you are a troll channel. And um, you want to troll the trolls. And we know you don't give a fuck. We, we know that. We acknowledge that. Trolls never give a fuck. That's why they do what they do. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. <laughs> but we don't give a fuck either. <laughs> so guess what? We're on the same page. See, on that we agree on. We are two motherfuckers that don't give a fuck. And, you know, we the best man win. This is Hunger Games. This is Hunger Games. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Um... A video was made about me. Somebody tagged me. In a, well, the person who made the video, uh, We the People's Tyrant Wars, made a video about King Troll and tagged me in it. I, I didn't get uh, time to really watch it last night because, you know, I was doing the whole ladies night thing. So, um, yeah, man, I watched it uh, as much as I could and all that. It was a kind of long video, like an hour and some change. And uh, a lot of things were said on there. A lot of things were said on there because uh, of certain individuals, I guess, that come through here, certain individuals who come through here, uh, they have some type of issue with i say they because they speak as like a collective they say we um i don't know if all, if all of them uh speak at the same time or they have one representative speaking i don't know what's going on so y'all know i'm king troll the one man army king troll but anyway i troll the trolls this is a troll page if you get offended easily if you take things personal don't get in the chat don't get on the panel if you don't like what you see leave don't watch if you subscribe and you don't like it unsubscribe um if I come up as a suggestion, you can uh, on your timeline, you can say, uh, uh, not interested. There's many things you can do if, you know, you don't like the content over here or, you know, what's, go you know, what's going on over here. You know, the difference between uh, my page and other pages is I tell people what it is. This is a troll page. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to like it. You don't have to watch it. 
But you know, the things that go on on my on the stroll page, it's not out of the ordinary of what goes on on numerous many pages throughout these sectors. The only difference is that I say this is a troll page. Others say it's not a troll page. They're not trolls. They don't be trolling. And um, they do the same thing that happens on a troll page as what I, I would call trolling. But some people may not call it trolling. Some people may call it uh, click baiting, clout chasing. Uh, uh, what else? What else kind of words they have? They have many words. I just put it all in one box. Call it trolling. Some people don't like that. So a lot of times, you know, some people will come to the platform and try to, you know, debate or re uh, rebuttal, you know, my um outlook on trolling. They'll try to come here and convince me that they not trolls, they don't be trolling, but at the least they associate with trolls. So my question is, why? Why do you associate with trolls? Now I'm not telling you who to associate with. It's just a question. Now, if you see a, a bunch of, if you see a bunch of gang members, right? You see a bunch of gang members standing in the crowd and then you got some non-gang members hanging out with them, associating with them, you may mistake them as gang members. Or you may ask yourself, why are they hanging around that crowd? It must be something that drew them to the crowd. So a lot of people say, you know, I'm not with the trolling, I'm with the trolls, but they associate with trolls. Now, people who's really against the trolling, you know, they don't fuck with the trolls, you know, that trolling shit, they ain't with it. If they see trolls, they'll go the other way. If they see a troll page, they'll stay away from it. Now, some people watch for pure entertainment. They may be behind the scenes. They're not going to become a part of the show, like um, getting into the chat, getting on a panel, uh, speaking about what happens on the troll page, making content off of it, and shit like that. They'll try not to bring no attention to themselves. They'll stay far away from the trolls and the troll. But then you have some people who come to the page. They may not get in the chat. They may not get on a panel. But they'll make a video. They'll speak about it on other panels. Um, they'll say what they don't like about the troll page and how the troll page should be ran and what is their definition of trolling. I always say there's no rules to trolling. There's no rules. I see new things all the time. But, you know, you can't tell these people nothing. Some of them come inside the chat and talk shit or inside the chat or say, you know, I'm never coming back here or I don't like the crowd you have here today. Or some of them hit the panel and say, oh, why you got these people on your show? Why do you have these people on your page? It's a troll page. You need to ask yourself, what are you doing here? And why does it bother you so much? All you have to do is not watch it. Nobody twisted your arm to come here. So a lot of people, you know, they have this, this outrage about certain things. They don't like what they see. and But you don't have to see it. It's millions of pages on YouTube. I'm pretty sure you can find what you're looking for. So if you come to the troll page or you speak of the troll page, you watch the troll page, I guess you found what you were looking for. Some people look for negativity so they can complain about it. Some people look for positivity. They stay away from the negativity because they don't want to deal with it. You have free, free will. You have the choice to choose to watch these things, to subscribe, to unsubscribe. But a lot of people want to force their opinion, their outlook, what they feel something somebody should do with their page. They want to force that on set individual and their audience and their followers. Now, I can understand if I asked you, oh, come to King Troll, come to the page, hit that like button, support. No, I, I, I can see that. Now, I asked you to come over here and you have some type of problem. You're like, you know what? You asked me to come over here and I don't like this, this, this and that. I get it. But if you came here on your own free will and you seen what was going on and you decided to stay, you understand that this is a troll page. If you get offended easily, if you take things personally, don't get on a panel, don't get in the chat, don't watch the show. And I tell you, if you get in the chat, if you get on a panel, you are part of the show. Well, anyway, salute. Let me give some shout outs to see who's up in the building. I created this school. This is Gladiator School. I created this school because I want to let people know that no matter how you feel or what you say, that's not trolling. This is what trolls do. Trolls are supposed to do that. Trolls do whatever they feel like doing. No matter what you say, how you feel. Yes, we have racist trolls. Yes, it's called race, race baiting. That's part of trolling. 
We have all types of trolls. We have trolls who speak ill of the dead. We have trolls who dox. We have trolls who swat. We have trolls who send wellness checks to your house. We have trolls who take pictures of your family and your loved ones and do what they do with. But what you got to ask yourself is how did you get mixed up with these trolls? How Think about it. How did this happen to you? How did you get doxed? How did you get mixed up with these trolls? How? Did you not know they were trolls? Possibility. Maybe you're a troll and you don't know it. Maybe you're not a troll, but you be trolling or you associate with trolls. So maybe the person you associated with was a troll or be trolling. So you got to think about this. How did I get myself into this situation? I see a lot of people get themselves in situations, but they keep coming back to the same pages. They keep associating with the same people. And you keep getting the same results. All you have to do is leave, unsubscribe, find somewhere else, another sector, another place. YouTube is very large. It's a large place. So if you decide to stay in these spaces where these trolls are or people who be trolling or people who associate with trolls, if you choose to stay there, you know that there's consequences to these things. So when something happens to you, even if you are the victim, you have to take responsibility for the part that you played in what happened. Think about what you did, because you can't prevent others from doing what they do. All you can do is prevent yourself from doing what you do, from making the same mistakes. Some people like trolling, and you know, it's fun until it's not fun no more, and then they don't want to do it no more. But that won't stop others. My thing, my, my ultimate lesson here in Gladiator School is don't engage. Ignore the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. But if you're going to not Listen, if you're still going to engage, if you're still going to associate with trolls, feed the trolls, if you're still going to troll, you got to develop tough skin. It's no rules. Anything can happen. It's not what you feel or how far you think it should go. This is not what's happening. I'm just keeping it real. Other people might tell you stuff to make you feel better and keep you around and keep you coming to their page and, and, or what have you. But I'm here to let you know. You may not want to come back to the troll page because, you know, you don't want to be associated with a page that says King Troll or, you know, claims to be a troll page. I get it. I'm not mad at you. But when you leave here, Gladiator School, when you go out to these other pages where you're still associating with these trolls, you're still trolling. There's no lesson there. They're not going to tell you these things. There's no lesson there. This is Gladiator School. It's a lesson here. The only way to win is to not play the game. So it, it, it becomes hypocrisy. Everybody's pointing the finger. Everybody's judging everybody because you have a problem with them. You don't like them. You're on the opposite side of whatever y'all people are going through. The content creator you support don't like the content creator they support. Now y'all have some type of issues and drama. But at the end of the day, this is not no cult. This is not no game. This is not no, this, this is social media. People support content creators. You can support as many content creators if you want. If you want to support one content creator, cool. But that's your choice. You shouldn't be feel like you are obligated to support this content creator only or this one only or you're a part of this team or you're a part of this team. Or, or We are grown adults. Some of us have children. We have families. That's your team. That's your community. That's who you're loyal to. That's who you fight for. That's whose side you take. Because a lot of y'all are dragging your families into social media drama. That has really nothing to do with you. You just put yourself into it. You took a side. You put yourself into it. You spoke up. You said something about something. And now it's affecting your real life. You put your personal business out here. You, 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 you told people this. You told people that. And you've seen other people do the same and it didn't go good for them. So why would you try to do it? Well, anyway, who we got here? King Troll responded. You can go see his video. And I guess he missed the whole point. So, um, first, let me say this very clearly, King Troll. This is a response based on if what you were discussing was directed to us. So we're answering it because there's no way of of this communication to really happen because our comments are off because we're bitches like that. But so what you're about to hear is if what you stated was directed to us because you did a lot of generalization. You really didn't really point the finger at any one individual. But some of the things that you stated seems to imply us when you started to talk about you don't have to watch it or blah, 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 blah that type of thing. So this video, again, is if, if, if is the operative fucking word. Your video was directed to us when you're doing that commentary. This is our response to it. But if it wasn't directed to us and you were just speaking just to speak, including everyone, then take it as we are doing the same thing. Is everyone is listening? This is for them to listen to. So, okay, got that? Now, okay, we're going to touch on some things that he said in the first 30 minutes. 
the first 10 minutes is music and the clips and you know the indirects the subliminals okay so first he states that he is a troll page okay we, we acknowledge that right we said that in the video <laughs> it is a troll page so that we know um he says if you don't like his content you can unsubscribe if you see a suggestion if it pops up as a suggestion just say you're not interested but how would anyone know if they're interested in it when all they see is king troll and then we said that king troll is actually a cartoon so then how would someone know that by clicking that web that subscription that they're going to be subjected to racial comments i don't know how people would know that you seem to think a lot of people are psychic kudos to you kudos to you we're not um you say others do the same that's a form of deflection because we're not talking about others we're talking about you right so you gotta stick within the lane, right? Deflecting is not a good sign, right? You're not taking responsibility for your own action. You know how the saying goes, if everybody jumps off the roof, will you jump off too? So you're saying that, you know, since everyone else does it, I do it too. It doesn't make any sense, right? Um, the association with trolls. Why, um, some people are associated with trolls. Why people, um, um, are attracted to trolls or whatever the case may be. And I think we said it very clear. We are attracted to trolls because we like to fuck with them. We like to eat our own. We love the stench. We even said that we're maggots, we're roaches, we are um, flies that stick our shit. And if the smell is there, we're going to come there because that is what we like to go and school trolls. Like you said, right? You said you like to troll a troll. So that's what we're doing, <laughs> right? We're doing the same shit. So why are we going? Because you didn't say, you didn't technically say it was us. You're generalizing, but we're gonna tell you why we go is because you're a troll channel and we like to fuck with other trolls We like to expose other trolls. We like to let's see this comment right here We like to snitch out trolls. That's what we do. I mean, it's, it's, it's part of our fucking damn intro on what we do. It's part of our video. You see that to the left of you? See all those things that we do? That is what we do. So we are attracted to that. We like to fuck with other trolls and school them on how to really be a fucking troll. So I, I hope that that's, that makes it clear on why we go. We don't know about other people, but why we go. And, and we're going to say we because there is a team. But I am the voice for We The People Time Wars. And everyone else in the background, they go and they do the research and, and the, the editing and all the other stuff, right? But I'm the voice for We The People Time Wars. So since I'm the voice, you can always hear me, all right? So that's how that works, all right? Your one-man crew, kudos to you, kudos to you. So, um, so now, you mentioned something about a bunch of gang members, right? And you said one may be gang members and the others won't. So why would one be attracted to a gang member and not be attracted to a, a, a gang member? Some people will walk away. Some people will go over there. See, we will rat them out. <laughs> we will fuck with them. Okay? <laughs> we'll start to do shit to fuck with their lives. Because they are fucking damn tyrants. So, that's what we will do. <laughs> if we see a tyrant, a bully. Alright? That is what we do. We don't turn away from people that are creating havoc. You do that. You exude it. You invite it. You're okay with being around negativity. Alright? So, when people come on your channel and they see that you're trolling and you're being racist and you're lying just to happen, you don't have a leg to stand on to say that, ah, uh, they're fucking with my people. No, no, they're not. You are an example of what they say about um, African Americans. That is what you are. You are the poster child. So, so you see what they do? They in there, cursing, saying the N-word, saying the F-word, fucking with people, calling people out, blah, blah, blah. You are the poster child for that. That's what you do. Kudos cool to you. Kudos cool to you. Alright, so then you said it was pure entertainment. Sorry people, we aren't going to show clips because it's there. You can go and watch it. It's the first 30 minutes. That's what we just said. We only watched the first 30 minutes. So go and watch. Um, start around the 10 minute mark when he starts to talk. So it's about 10 minutes of what he was saying. Because we already know from the gist of that, we already know where, where it's headed. Um, so pure entertainment. If you find bullying people, degrading people, um, calling people out, being racist, misogynistic, all that. If you find that as entertainment... Yeah, there's something something really wrong with you. You know, that's 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 like um psychotic area. That's like um that's like in the you know being evil area. If you find that as entertainment, okay, because we, we, we threw this in this video the last time. What if that all that was directed to your family? 
w would you feel the same if someone came on and started degrading your mother your father and everyone in your family and said it's trolls it's trolling don't worry we're trolling and you're supposed to laugh it off yeah you find that entertaining well maybe you do obviously you do because that's your channel right <laughs> i see it so you know listen man this gladiator school so like i take everything as a teachable moment and i tell y'all when you associate with certain people you you may be uh caught in the crossfire innocent bystander uh a target that's just how it is so when you associate with certain people you got to take everything that uh comes along with it and you know they associate with each other so they can all get it too you know what i'm saying Fuck them all so there you go there's no rules to trolling well there is rules to trolling because it's your channel so if you want to implement rules you can See, but there goes the deflection again. You're trying to say, since everyone else can do whatever the fuck they want to do, I'm going to allow them to do the same thing. That's a follower. Are you a follower or are you a leader? Which one are you? Are you the one that stands back and stays quiet and just observes, like you said, people just love to observe drama? Is that what you do? You come on, you set the stage, you let everyone self-destruct, and you just watch, laughing, like an evil little fucking damn devil, just watching everyone fucking that fight and all that. Is, is that your way of, is that your, your thing? To, to see people, you know, degrade each other. Yeah, that's, that's like evil shit. That's like the devil, you know, just sitting in the corner watching, you know, everyone implode. So, again, kudos to you. Kudos to you. Um, You said we, if people have the right to watch it or not watch it. Well, you see, since we love the smell of tyrants, since we love the stench, the shit that exudes out of tyrants' channels, we have to watch it because we love it. We love it. We like to see other tyrants and see how advanced they are. And then we want to challenge them. You know, it's like we told you, hunger games. Tonga Bames, you know, there's only be one troll left. <laughs> and we're gonna fight to be the last standing troll. So, see, we check, we try to take out our competition. See that? See how that works? Um, you don't have to see it. Well, we just said something in regards to we seeing it. We're gonna see it. And we said it in the video. Again, you didn't pay attention. And the message was, if people are gonna come to us and say that they are bothered by your channel, we are going to stand up for them. You don't like it, we don't care. Obviously, you don't care. Everyone is going to do what they're going to do. Remember what you said? Everyone is going to do what they're going to do. A troll is going to be a troll. That's what you said. There are no rules. But you see, you, you, you're adding rules because you're saying, don't watch it. Unsubscribe. Say you're not interested. But which one is it? If there's no rules and people want to watch you for entertainment, then we're watching you for entertainment and we're going to play with you. <laughs> that is our entertainment. To play and fuck with other tyrants, with other bullies. That is our form of entertainment. Your form of entertainment is to watch your panelists fight amongst each other and be racist, misogynistic pigs. That's what you like. That is your entertainment. But you're saying that someone shouldn't come to your channel and tell you how to do what you do. You can tell us how the fuck we entertain ourselves, right? It goes both ways, brother. It goes both ways. You don't get to sit there and say, don't come here if you don't like it. There's no rules to trolling. People love it for entertainment, and then we come because of the entertainment, because there's no rules, you have a problem with it. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> Which one is it? But anyway, so, you also mentioned that no one is forcing anyone, and it goes back to everything we say, we, everything we just said in regards to, there's no forcing. You are the entertainment we like. You are the toy that we like to play with. That is what your channel is. You personally, that's still up in the air, but your response of deflecting says a lot. And, um, yeah, we're going to leave it there. So... The, one of the major things that you missed about everything is that we even said it from the beginning. Our major pet peeve is being racist. And you, being indigenous, having your panels talk about, you know, white people doing this, talking about you're going to be put in a fucking concentration camp and all that, for you to allow them to come in there and be racist is disgusting. That shows that, you know, you may be an Oreo, okay? That shows that you don't really give a fuck about anything about race. You just want to be entertained by bullies. That is your entertainment. That is your, your fascination of, of, you know, watching people just be ugly, be negative. And we are attracted to that. Call us a devil, right? The devil is not attracted to something, you know, people doing good. The devil is attracted to people doing fucked up shit. Like, yeah, that's my boy. So that's us. That is us. So if you look at it that way, then you can understand why we are attracted to your channel, right? That's, that's our entertainment. You cannot tell us what will entertain us. Like, we cannot tell you what entertains you, right? So, we did you a courtesy and letting you know where our thoughts are at, right? That's a courtesy. That's a courtesy that we give all tyrants. We give full disclosure on every tyrant. Not just you. Everyone that we're going to feature and go with, we tell them exactly what we are about and what we're going to do. So, there's no misunderstandings. None at all. That 
was the purpose of the video. That is how we started it. We started it saying that this is just so we can both have an understanding. We were not telling you to change anything. Just like you cannot tell us to change shit. But we were giving our opinion on what your channel is about. It was about understanding. It was never about changing. And we said it over and over and over again. That is how we started the video. But see, this is what we tell your people just don't... Anyway. <laughs> and then your motherfuckers wonder why we repeat shit. <laughs> because it, it, it never fucking sinks in. But we have to say it. So it can be a matter of record. So we can say later on. We said it. We told you. So even though it's fucking annoying. Having to repeat the same shit all over again. We have to do it. So it could be on record. That we informed. And we told everyone what we're about. So at the end. There is no denying. There is no plausible deniability. So at the end. If you do certain shit. You should know already. What's going to happen. When we get involved. That is what the fucking video was about. That's it. Yeah. It is what it is. So lastly, you said how do people get mixed up with trolls? Again, it goes back to everything. See, if you just think about what I just said, we are attracted to trolls. Trolls entertain us. People that are being um, bullied and trolled, that doesn't entertain us. That bothers us, right? So we have to go who entertains us, and that's those tyrants. So if they want to be a tyrant and they want to be a bully, we're going to take them to school. We're going to show them what a, a bully and a tyrant is all about. That's our expertise. See, that is what we do. So as long as you do what you do, you play your role, you played in the beginning, we're going to play our role. And we made it clear that you don't give a fuck and we don't give a fuck. So you saw that part. So if you absorb that part where we said, you don't give a fuck, we don't give a fuck, we're on the same page, then the rest of what you said is irrelevant. All you did was give excuses. All you did was give deflections. That's all you did. You did not take responsibility for your own action. You kept putting it off. No rules. Other trolls are doing it. Other channels are doing that. Stay away. Do this. Not one time did you say it's fucked up to be racist. You did not even stand your ground. You don't. Do you have any moral value? Any type of morality in you? At all? Do you, is there anything that someone could do for you to go? Huh, that's it. You said in one video in regards to going after dead people. But all these people that go on your channel go after dead people. But you still have them on. So even that's not an excuse. So where is your moral compass? Where is it at? <laughs> I mean, you have, it seems like you have none. Because everything we said in regards to race and all that, you still, you still didn't get it. You still deflect it. It's all about other people. When it's not, it's your house. It's your live stream. It's your channel. You set the rules. You set the rules of engagement. That's it. Unfortunately, your channel has no doors. It's public. So that means anybody can walk in and out. Gang members and all. So, we're going to leave you with this little analogy. You have a gang member. One gang in one corner, another gang in another corner. Both gangs want control of that block. What do you think is going to happen? Two gangs, one block. One gang is going to go after the other gang to take control. So, we being master trolls are going to go after other trolls to make sure we take control. It's a beautiful analogy there. You laid that foundation for us by mentioning gangs. Two gangs. Beautiful segue. Two gangs, one block. Hunger Games, Hunger Games. Thank you for that analogy. Because that's how it works. We never shied away from it. The only difference is we feed on our own. We feed on other tyrants. And the beauty of it is all we do is use them against them. You cannot do that to us. <laughs> There's nothing you can do to affect our lives personally. You can make fun of the pound. Make fun of the voice. You can do all that shit. But at the end, when we log off, that's it. When some of you log off, they're going to see you for who you are. And how they're going to see it? They're going to see you. You are all writing your own stories. Not us. You can't say anything about us personally. Not one thing. <laughs> you think Billy Bob is walking down the street and Cloud is walking down the street <laughs> and Troll... <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> so, guess what? Um, King Troll, we're going to show you what a true gladiator school is all about. You see? But, listen. Do you, we're going to do us. We came to that understanding from the very beginning of your video. Right? You said it from the beginning. All right. So this video is not mainly towards you. We also said that in the other video. It's mainly to all of you tyrants to let you know that these excuses are just that. Excuses. You want to be a tyrant, a bully? We are entertained by you. So we are going to be attracted to you. That is the purpose of all these videos that we put out. To let you know you don't scare us and to put you on notice on things that we're going to do. And you can continue doing you. But we like to put it on record. We want to put it out there. Just in case officials get involved, they could come back and hear exactly what we said. 
in regards to how we're going to expose you and what we're going to do. And yes, yes, we know we may get a bullet or once we find you and I have this posse and I have that posse and I know people the CIA and the FBI and soon you're going to be under the ground and you keep up and don't worry your time is... We heard all that already. We already know it. That's the consequences behind everything, right? We are part of that. So, Serari. But what we're doing, we feel it's worth it. For you, it may not be worth it. But we are confident enough to know, yeah, you're not going to touch us. But, but, there is always a possibility, right? Nothing is 100% in life, right? So, we still like our odds, right? But, there's always a possibility. Hence, why we take certain precautions. Hence, why we implement a lot of things, right? Because we know there's always a possibility, right? So, we already know it. We already know it. Pull out the gun, you know, show it. Point it to the side. Whatever the fuck you want to do. Don't worry. We got it. We know it. So, anyway. So that is why these videos are truly there, all right? Also to entertain our supporters. So, if you're not a bully, we're not interested in you. We want the bullies. That is our form of entertainment. Just like all of you, AC, your form of entertainment is about the porn bomb, makeup shit, dodo bird, fucking every um, online hooker on, on the fucking news, cheating on his wife, tonic, shoving fucking microphones and fucking dildos in your fucking mouth like the piece of shit that you are. Stephanus hopping from man to man to man to man. We can go on. See, that is your form of entertainment. And we cannot stop you from doing that because that's what you find entertaining. So, guess what we. Like a game I'm playing, straight to the bank to collect my payment. 